Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachapadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the Akiyam out there doing the work of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, in truth, faith, and in sincerity. All right, this is Brother Tyson Pai here with you again. And this lesson, I want to do a response to a video that Apostle Tahar put out yesterday. And the title of that video is GMS was always right. All right. And then it says WEF says CBDCs must be implanted under your skin. Hence the MOTB. All right. And this is the Apostles page here. GMS declaring the end is his YouTube handle. And uh, he just did a quick video just to put the message out there that, you know, we've been telling you this all along. We have no reason to lie to you. No one's paying us. We're not getting kickbacks. All right. Our pages are not monetized. We we have no benefits to come out here or wherever to tell you a lie. All right. We're looking for salvation or or um solace and and uh prize, if you will, is the kingdom. And the, the, the scriptures is clear. Liars will not be part of the kingdom. So we have an obligation and a duty to come out here to tell you the truth. All right. So um, I just wanted to go into this and uh, I'm going to go into the article just a bit. I have the article here. And I just want to give props to the the uh, elder apostle Tahar in the video that he did uh, bringing this to my knowledge. Now, he got the video from another brother and I hadn't seen his video yet. Because uh, things moving so fast, uh, you got to just jump on it. I I meant to get on it yesterday, but uh, I was out and about, and I actually uh, yesterday I went into the uh, well Esau surviving Esau, and it basically goes into this. I went into the uh, I, I briefly mentioned the MOTB of Revelation 13, but as well as the uh, our temptation. All right, because that's all coming. The hour of temptation is tied hand in hand with this here uh, fulfilling of the prophecy dealing with this article and these CBDC implants. Okay. And uh, YouTube can't get mad and censor it. This is mainstream news. All right. It's out there. It's out. We've been telling you all along. We've got censored for this. All right. We've had pages shut down for this. We have to. We had to use uh, um, what is the term abbreviations or uh, I, I'm a salaki for that. Uh, the term escapes me right now. But uh, we had to use code names and code words as well as uh, abbreviations to keep our pages from being shut down from trying to give you this truth. And now the truth is about to hit everyone in the face. And so now, and, and I feel like the Most High is giving you mercy in showing you this. For some of you who, who uh, was mocking and scoffing and coming up against the truth, that you still have time, all right, to repent because the hour of temptation hasn't come yet, all right? So there still may be time for some of you to uh, repent, all right? So uh, with that being said, we're going to get into that article. And it's hot off the press. This is just out yesterday. You see right there on the uh, in small print to the right of your screen. Uh, it says one day ago. So when the brother put this out, it was hot off the press. Talking about what the 10th of July. And they, they told us in July, they're going to make the push with the CBDC. And now they're coming. They're, they're putting it in the news prepping you. This is a form of uh, predictive programming to get you prepared. But we've been trying to get you prepared for the last 15 years uh, through social media. The apostles been teaching this going back even further than that. All right. And so here's the title. WEF says CBDCs must be implanted under your skin if you want to participate in society. Right. And this is by Michael Baxter 
from yesterday, a day, one day ago, July the 10th, this year, 2023. And so you see they're showing a little chip on the uh, tip of someone's index finger. All right, let's see what it says. All right, so the WEF, it's a lot of you. The WEF has declared that all citizens must be implanted with a CBDC, micro CHIP, in the very near future in order to be able to fully participate in society and do basic things such as purchase food and water. Now, with that being said, or read, with that being read, now you see why all of the push to destroy the waterways here in America and uh, the setting of these fires, which covers a multiple range of purposes. But uh, see, when you set, set these, for, like in California, they have all these wildfires. Up in Canada, they're seeing wildfires now. And what that does, if it doesn't kill wildlife, it, it, it causes them to flee. Okay, now with the train derailments here in America, we know that certain chemicals got dumped into the Mississippi, which basically feeds most of the states here in the United States. It feeds th these different smaller waterways and eventually it empties out into the Gulf. All right, so they've been, they've been working around the clock to put you in this trick bag to where, yeah, you, you ain't just gonna be able to Go to your local stream or um, river, what have you, to get you a natural source of water. You're going to have to purchase your water. Uh, since 2021, even I go far as back as 2020, they've been destroying all of these food processing plants to make sure that you have to see um, Mr. Gates, all right? And uh, with, with, with his impossible foods, his plant-based foods. And, and in the process of that, they've been destroying wildlife. There's a campaign right now to uh, get these livestock, the juice, that they're saying all livestock, cattle, what have you, must be juiced up and fitted with this platform, with this... Uh, this, this, this the uh, what's the term? The uh, mRNA platform. All right. So they want everything juiced into this system that they're preparing, this Internet of Things, this Internet of Bodies. Right now, it goes on to say, according to Professor Richard Warner, in the very near future, citizens will need to use the latest technology such as CBDC, uh, CHIP, implant, because they'll still strike us, even though I'm reading from this mainstream article. Matter of fact, who put this out? Okay, so like you, I normally give you the source. This is from Real Raw News, okay? So Real, Real Raw News, Michael Baxter. Okay, Baxter or Baxter? Michael Baxter, and they're saying again, according to Professor Richard Warner, in the very near future, citizens will need to use the latest technology, such as a CBDC, CHIP implant, in order to access their bank accounts. All right, because now everything, we, we saw that transformation from, from paper check or just getting cash money to everything being direct deposit, meaning it has been digital. Now, I just saw Apostle Gabor put out a video talking about, you know, how the uh, the the debit cards that we have are a form of CBDC, and that's exactly what it is. There's hardly any hard money exchanging hands nowadays, all right? Most transactions are done by card or um, these, these uh, apps which is all digital. So now they're just going to do away with the cards and most of the apps and you, you'll you become the card. All right? That's all you're going to become is a uh, 
a a a theme, if you will, of, of information that they can read at their, you know, at their will. Now it goes further to say Professor Professor Richard A. Warner is an economics and professor of banking and finance. You know, maybe some of you cats out there will believe since it's coming from Professor Richard A. Warner, because when we told you all this time, a lot of you had something to say. Y'all fucked up. All right. Called us dummies, stupid. All of you, 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 you slandered us and called us names. Now they're coming out and telling you these things that we've been trying to warn you about so that you could prepare yourselves. So Professor Richard A. Werner is an economic an economist and professor of banking and finance. He is known as the proponent of a new post-crisis monetary policy he called quantitative easing, which he proposed in Japan in 1995 as chief economist of a British investment bank. He has also worked as a researcher at the University of Oxford, the Bank of Japan, the Development Bank of Japan, and the Asian Development Bank. He is involved in supporting the establishment of not-for-profit community banks through an initiative called Local First CIC. All right, expose-news.com reports. At the Amsterdam Science Summit 2022, Professor Werner gave a lecture on central bank digital currencies, in parentheses, CBDCs, and the, the 2030 agenda at the sidelines of this year's Amsterdam Science Summit. He spoke to Ivor Cummings about CBDCs and how high inflation has been orchestrated by central banks to further their agenda. Now, we saw that here in America, the feds have been raising rates and say they weren't going to stop raising rates, all right, uh, until basically that to uh, quote Klaus Schwab, to basically y'all all own nothing and be happy about it. All right, so the feds have been raising rates with no set uh, no set point in sight in order to put the squeeze on people. And so now you see crime going through the roof, smashing grabs. Well, I was doing a lesson yesterday about surviving Esau, some, some young Issacharites ran up out of store with a, a 12 pack of Modelo, a Specials, all right? Ran right out the store with it, you know? It's just crime is running rampant because people are filling the squeeze. You know, uh, reading on, it says there are two aspects to QE, monetary policies that Professor Warner proposed, QE1 and QE2. QE1 is for the central bank to step in and purchase the non-performing assets in the banking system. All right. Um, Right, and that's all of these foreclosed homes and all of this buying up toxic assets. This is how they end up owning everything, right? Because they, again, they put the squeeze on you till you get put out on your ass. Then they come through, BlackRock. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, what's the other? BlackRock and, uh, this is another one, but. So lucky I can't think of it now. But they come through and buy up everything. This is how BlackRock, this is how their net worth is in the trillions, all right? And that says, uh, right, the, the central bank buys up non-performing assets at face value, and the problem is solved. Banks have a strong balance sheet, but that won't be enough to get banks to increase credit. So Professor Warner proposed QE2, which allows the central bank to force the banks to create more money and push it into the economy, which what makes more inflation. 
This would be accomplished with the central banks buying assets, e.g. property uh, from the non-bank sectors. The money the non-bank sectors receive from the sale of the property would then be deposited into the seller's bank account with an, uh, when an economy is experiencing deflation. That's how central banks can push money into the economy directly, Professor Warner explained. All right. So, I'm going I'm to jump down. And uh, I'm going to spare you all of this banking mumbo jumbo. Trying to get to the good part. All right. Here we go. Vanguard, that's who I was thinking about. It just hit me. So I'm going to come here, top of the screen, it says, and there's one more factor. Professor Warner said the Federal Reserve hired BlackRock in March 2020 to buy assets. All right. So you see how all of these people are in cahoots. QE was for a deflationary situation, but the way they were using it had to cause inflation. Exactly what I just explained. There was no doubt, and they knew, and well, and they knew it because they even said it. So, this current inflation is entirely intentionally created by the central banks, by the central planners. So, how are we going to punish them for this? Oh, Let's give them more powers. Let's give them unprecedented powers over everything, over life on Earth through central bank digital currencies. He said the true reason, I think, uh, why they wanted this inflation because that is to cover up essentially the disintegration of the petrodollar and move to the new system, which they want to be CBDC based. At the moment, there's talks about CBDCs being used via phone-based apps. Yes, that is the initial phase, all right? So this may be the initial phase. They could switch this up. But it says, but what was already, already ready around 2015 is the ultimate goal. What they really want, apparently, I was told by a central banker is CBDC looks like a small grain of rice that they want to put under your skin, which is, my view, a violation of human dignity. Right, and a violation of everything else. A violation of the law, statutes, and commandments that the Heavenly Father gave us as Hebrew Israelites. And, um, yeah, a total degradation of your humanity. All right? So he stated it right there. CBDC looks like a small grain of rice that they want to put under your skin, which is, in my view, a violation of human dignity. And they realize there is a hurdle to get people to accept this, Professor Warner said. So they're using crises, disruption, and unemployment to introduce universal basic income to soften the public up to accepting a CBDC, CHIP, and plant it under their skin. How many times have I personally talked about this? Okay. And just uh, this weekend, I went into how, you know, when they go into this digital currency, you cannot put a digital currency in your wallet, your billfold, or your purse, not even in your pocket. So how would you keep track of a digital currency? All right. Say you got what a thousand units or whatever they're gonna call it. 
let's just, let's just say dollars. So you got a thousand dollars of a digital currency. Well, it, it can't go in your pocket. So how could you keep track of it? Well, he just told you. A CBDC, C-H-I-P. Okay. So it says, again, at the top, so they're using crises, disruption, and unemployment to introduce universal basic income, right? Super high inflation, low wages, unemployment, disruption, all right? And now we've been disrupted here in the U.S., border crisis, well, crisis, border crisis, crisis. Now you understand why they're sending money to Ukraine instead of uh, taking care of business here at home, taking care of the uh, so-called U.S. citizens, sending hundreds of billions to Ukraine. Then they're funding a lot of these illegals coming over the border. All right, they're, they're giving them money. Ukrainians coming over here, getting fully funded. So this creates the crisis and disruption that the, that um, Professor Warner is talking about. And he goes on to say, you will get 2,000 euros into your account every month. But of course, to run this efficiently, uh, they'll say, in the brackets, they'll say, we need to use the latest technology. So you need the CBDC chip implant. All right. Yes, so yeah, that, that's it in a nutshell. And that lines right up the prophecy, which we know from uh, Revelation 19 and 10, that the spirit of the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the very spirit of prophecy, paraphrase. And so this is what it means here in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he causes all, what do we read? By crises, disruptions, unemployment, and, and, and just total, uh, all that chaos, auto op chaos. They're going to create more chaos here in the U.S. to foment that crisis in order to what? So that he may cause all, all right? And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right. That mark would be in that CBDC, CHIP. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. Okay. This has been broken down countless and innumerable amount of times here at Great Millstone. And um, really, the article broke, broke it down to you. You're not going to even be able to get your basic necessities as food and water without this CBDC, CHIP. This is what the scripture here is telling us. The, the, the very article itself broke the scripture down. All right. But well, we've gone into the Greek. We've gone into the Hebrew. We, we went through this particular passage from Revelation 13. Verses 16 through 18, backwards, forwards, we flipped it inside out. We, we've examined it with the utmost of scrutiny so that it's not just you taking our word for it, but that you would have the information readily available to you to make an enlightened and an informative decision, all right, on your behalf and on behalf of your family, all right? so that you can have what you need to make a, a, a spiritual-based decision in righteousness. So, yeah, this, this thing is, is right in our face now. 
and it's right in our faces. So, uh, I want to go here because I mentioned earlier how the, the Heavenly Father really is having mercy because the doors of grace haven't fully, no, nah, I don't know that. Having fully closed, there is still room for some of you to repent. And the mercy part comes due to the, the fact that the Heavenly Father is showing you who he's been dealing with all along. Hence the title, GMS was always right. You need to know right now, this day, whom the Lord is dealing with. And so, in Romans 3 and 3, it says, For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, without effect? Then it goes on, verse 4, and the point is in verse 4. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, forbid. Yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. So you got, you had these camps out there, man. H O I, I U I C. ISUPK, they refuse to let the most high be true. And there they're found to be what? Liars. We gave you the truth according to, here at Great Millstone, we gave you the truth. According to the word of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, not by way of our own vain opinion, our own deceitful hearts, but by the, by the spirit. The spirit revealed this. We gave you what the Spirit re revealed unto us, which only made sense. All right, which only made sense. This is why it says, God forbid, yea, let God be true, because when you don't, you will be found to be a liar. All right, so let the Most High be true, but every man a liar, as it is written that thou mightest be justified in thy saints. So now who's being justified? All right. The way this is playing out is the very exact same way that from Apostle Tahar on down at Great Millstone has been prophesying it. And so now the Heavenly Father is showing you through his justification of us uh, uh, by his word who he's dealing with. So you can continue to play the games if you if, if you wish, if that's what you want, continue to play the games, but you're going to play them to your detriment and not ours. All right. I'll be whatever you want me to be. But at the end of the day. It's all about the, being justified. In what you say, what you talk. All right that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. What's the Heavenly Father showing you, man? He's showing you who he's justifying. So this, this, this challenges y'all to other camps. This challenges y'all to what you, are, are you going to now tell the truth? Do you now see the light? Are you going to stick with that BS, you know, of, of sin, the MOTB being sin, the MOTB being a trade embargo, MOTB being the picture of, of sweet Jesus or even sleeping with white women? You going to stick to that? Or will you let Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai be true? Which takes me to Isaiah 8. You brothers know where I'm going. It's Isaiah 8 and 20 to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. All right. So now, yeah, the, the gauntlet is thrown down now. All right. With this one article. With, I mean. It goes beyond the article because everything has been swaying in that direction. 
but the gauntlet is thrown down. All right. Are you going to speak according to this word? And, and, and let your light so shine before men? Or you're going to continue with that, that, that darkness and, and continue to teach those lies? So again, to the law, this is Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And that, uh, we'll close out Revelation 19. I mentioned it, and it seems prevalent or necessary, so we'll bring it out. In Revelation 19 and 10 states, all right, Revelation chapter 19, verse 10, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Okay. And it says, worship the most high. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. All right. So are you going to teach the testimony of Yahweh Shai or are you going to teach your own testimony out of your own heart and continue to wickedly deceive and let it be let it be known by all that there is no light in you for, for you so-called leaders of Israel out there I said this about a month ago yeah y'all gonna have to see the apostles <laughs> then as far as doctrine goes you're gonna have to acknowledge that doctrine at some point but we know that there has to be a two-thirds. So this is the most highest program. But yes, hey, this thing is right around the corner. No more playing. Never was time for playing. But it's going to get nasty out here. Even in the article, Warner said that they're going to use crisis disruptions what do you think that means all right scripture describes it as jacob's trouble and trust me people will be begging for that chip now you said to soften people up yeah, they'll be putty in the elite's hand so to the next one shalom